Hi, my name is Nicholas Salbron and I'm a part of the Maker Nurse team here that's installing the UTMB Health Maker Space um, here on the 8th floor of the John Seeley Annex. So here as we come into the space, you can see that we've got a two-part space. Out here in the vestibule, we've got what we call digital fabrication. So using computers to design sh different shapes both in two and three dimensions and use machines to cut those shapes and build the three-dimensional models. So we've got different machines that can cut fabrics such as Duoderm um, that nurses use every day on patients. We can cut very thin materials as well as start to cut thicker materials using a desktop CNC mill. Here around the corner we've got a uh, beginning of our materials library. So we've got all sorts of materials such as PVC and dowels and uh, tube padding that can be used to be to create structures. Uh, for instance, one of the nurses is creating a shower system for the burn unit to wash patients. And so we we're using PVC and valves to create that system. Over here, we've got a variety of other materials that can be cut into different shapes. So using the CNC mill, we can cut wax and linoleum and all types of different plastics. Additionally, we've got mold making material so that if nurses want to make uh, custom shapes and custom clips, they can use the mold uh, making material to do that. Lastly, over here, we've got uh, a variety of different books that will help walk people through the space and walk through how to use the different tools and materials in the space um, and so that they can come in here as a place to learn about the different technologies that we have. As we come into a second part of our space, this is what uh, we were referring to as the workspace. This is where the nurses will come and uh, they'll use the tapes, the epoxies, the Velcros, uh, PVC to create their prototypes, to create quick proof of concept prototypes that allow them to get the ideas out of their head and into a tangible model that they can use um, to help solve the problems at the bedside that they face every day. So in this space here, We've got a tool cart with a variety of common hand tools. And the idea is that the nurses who are not comfortable using drills or a hot glue gun or these tools, we will provide them the teaching to use these so they get comfortable using these materials. So they have the confidence to, to come in on their own time. Up here on, our, uh, on the wall, we've got a variety of different uh, materials that are useful for the applications uh, the nurses need. Over here, this is, um, this is the PQ unit. They've, uh, in a short time, they've already acquired their own shelf um, because they were great and were bringing us a variety of different materials to cut. This is a prototype that they make on the unit where they uh, cut a plastic cup and add foam tape to cover uh, wound dressings, or IV line, so that kids can't pick at them and pull them out. So this provides a plastic cover. And so this is one example of something where um, we would like to see how we can help them do this faster because this is a great solution to a problem they face every day, but it takes them um, roughly 10 minutes to make each one of these. So we want to see what we can provide them that allow them to do this uh, quicker and save them time. Uh, continuing up here, we've got a variety of different fabrics. We've got fabrics that you can use a heat sealer on so you don't necessarily have to sew them um, and they're waterproof. And, uh, a lot of times nurses face issues with cleaning patients and showering patients and they need uh, waterproof materials to keep their, their wounds dry. Um, and lastly up here, another interesting material, we have uh, a splint roll. So actually, so it's normally used for limbs and to hold limbs in place. And um, we can actually use for a variety of different um, purposes. So one of the nurses, Deborah, came in and she was making a headrest using the splint roll, a custom sized headrest using the splint roll um, because it comes and it's pliable at first and once you wet it, it hardens into a shape. So we can use that for all types of applications. Coming down here to the workspace, we've got a uh, fabric library that shows the nurses all the different types of fabrics that we can, we can order and bring in that um, they have available uh, to them. So everything from waterproof, breathable fabric to six millimeter thick uh, neoprene. We also, over here in the corner, we've got uh, a variety of different clips and clamps. Um, 
you know, for the nurses, tubing and cords are always a problem. Patients could have upwards of 10 tubes connected to them and to the bed. And so we're, try we're providing a variety of different clips that can be used to hold tubing into place so that it stays organized and out of the way and the patient can't pull anything out. Um, lastly, we've got a variety of different ways to connect and attach things, so tapes, epoxies, gear tie, Velcro. Uh, we're just trying to provide a variety of different ways for nurses to do the things that they're doing at the bedside and provide a way for them to uh, do them in a repeatable fashion so that it saves them time. So here we're using a laser cutter to uh, cut materials that the nurses use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and whereas it would take a lot of time to normally cut out of fabric, we can leverage technology such as this laser cutter to uh, cut these shapes for the nurses. So here I am uh, on the computer, I'm designing the shape um, that we wanna cut. So as you can see, I can quickly design uh, simple shapes such as circles, rectangles. Then I print it like you would print, uh, send it to your printer, uh, like you would an inkjet printer. Uh, so here I am, I've got my shape that I wanna cut out and now I will send it to the printer. Just like an inkjet printer, we just select the laser cutter as our printer here in the laser cutter software, we've got, um, we, see, we see the shape that we designed. So if this was our tube in the sitting, sticking out of the skin, the bandage slips around and closes back up. So the, the flower shape allows the tube a place to sit and the slit allows the bandage to go around and then come back and, and close up. So the wound and everything around, everything around the tube is still covered but the tube has a place to come out. Um, over here, we've got an electronic station and more workspace. So um, in, a hospital, in a hospital setting, there's tons of things that can be sensed. Patient temperature, temperature around a wound, uh, are people washing their hands? Um, moisture, so uh, the moisture if a wound gets too wet and it need, the adjustment needs to be changed. So we can use hobby electronics and things like our du platforms like Arduino and Tiny Duino to create very low cost sensor systems that allow nurses to get a better sense of the environment around the patient and er, in the hospital uh, to help them provide better care uh, on a daily basis. UTMB Health working together to work wonders.